Good morning, today is Monday the 26th of April. Welcome to this week's Monday message. I really hope that you had a nice weekend and that you were able to enjoy the good weather. Unfortunately, the forecast isn't quite so good for this week, so make sure that you're dressed appropriately as we continue to spend our intervals and almost all of our lunch times outside. You might know that I have been doing a Monday message every Monday since the start of the January lockdown and the purpose of it is just to keep everybody in touch with what's going on in our community. So I thought it was a pretty good idea just to keep us all informed and I'll keep doing this until the end of term. If for any reason you don't get to see the Monday message, it will be uploaded onto the Clevedon Remote Learning Hub and you can look at it any time. And also a link to that will be posted on our school Twitter feed, which is at ClevedonSec42. We'll start this week's Monday message with a couple of notices. The first is from Miss Dunellen, and that's to say that netball practice will be resuming tomorrow. That's Tuesday, the 27th of April in the Games Hall straight after school. So make sure that you have your PE kit on for that if you intend to participate. That's open to all year groups. On that note, uh, last week I suggested that we would be in line with the government guidance, be able to change to a situation where you wear your uniform every day and get changed for PE. And that is true, the guidance is there to allow schools to do that. However, we were quite concerned about the levels of ventilation and the size of the changing rooms. So we've done some checking on that. And what we have decided is that at the moment we'll just pause with that plan. And I'm sorry that uh, we gave you uh, a different idea last week, but I'm sure you'll also appreciate the time that we've taken to really consider that decision and make sure that it is the safest thing for us all to do. I really would love to see you all in uniform all day, every day, um, because I think it's really important for the ethos of our school, but health and safety must come first. So please remember that our school PE kit is black top, uh, black bottoms and a white or a black top and that all other days when you're not participating in physical activity, you must be wearing school uniform. It's really important that we do keep up our school identity, so please make sure that you adhere to that. This week also Hot Chocolate Friday will be recommencing, and anyone can be nominated for this, whether it's a member of staff or a pupil, and the only criteria is that they have gone above and beyond. That is to go the extra mile for our community in whichever way. And that could be doing a really amazing piece of work or something that really contributes to our uh, school. So if you would like to nominate someone, please get in touch with Miss Donald and she will give you a slip for that. When we did the focus groups in December with some pupils, we also talked about Hot Chocolate Friday and some suggestions were made for that. So Miss Donald will be looking at those suggestions and seeing if we can uh, implement some of them in response to, to your uh, the points that you raised. Uh, last week, one of the things that I spoke about was the idea of respect for all and respect for learning. Respect and good behaviour, good conduct in our corridors and in our classrooms. And I'm delighted to say that, as is always the case, almost everybody was complying with that. Almost everybody was following the one-way system and almost everybody was wearing their mask as directed. Some people, however, didn't. And what I would ask you to do is to ensure that you do that. Unless you are exempt, there is no reason for you not to be wearing a face covering. And I understand that it's not always the most comfortable and it's maybe not how you would like to have school. And I'm hopeful that there'll be a point soon where we might we won't need this uh, mitigation. But at the moment, that is the rule. And anyone who doesn't comply will be treated in the same way that any other kind of uh, non-compliance would be dealt with. So please make sure that you wear your face covering at all times. Also following the one-way system, almost everybody was doing that last week, but you must make sure that you do that at all times. And I know that during citizenship classes last week, some pupils pointed out the fact that, that some teachers and some staff don't do that. So uh, I know that you'll know that it's easy to forget sometimes these rules. So all of us need to make sure that we stick to them as best we can. But we, I think that underlines the fact that how difficult everybody finds these new rules but they're really important to ensure the safety of our whole community. You will know that at the moment you are not permitted to leave the school building at interval or school grounds to go to the shops. That rule is still in place. Some people seem to think that that rule is not in place, but it is. So please ensure that you stay on the school premises at interval at all times. The senior phase assessment window one will start on Friday of this week. 
And again, that underlines the importance for us all to make sure that we behave in an appropriate way around the building and support our seniors as they undertake these very important assessments. You will be uh, coming into school only for those assessments and learning from home for the remainder of the time, but you will be able to come and speak to your teachers during the usual timetabled slot if you need extra help. And also there will be a quiet study space set up if you're a person who prefers to learn in school. So please make sure that you bear that in mind. There will be assemblies later on this week just to make sure that everybody knows what they are doing. One final thing is that we have um, a, a grass pitch and a blaze pitch that are part of the school estate that are a couple of minutes away um, and this is known as Kirkley's pitches. They've been underused in recent years because of the condition that they've been in, they're very difficult to maintain. And Kelvin Side Academy have now been permitted to redevelop the site, but only on condition that Clevedon pupils also get fair and equitable access to the new facilities that will be built there. There will be a sports hub and an um, all-weather pitch built. If you are interested in having your views included in this redevelopment, could you please speak to either me or Mr McLennan? We want to make sure that Clevedon pupils get access to this fantastic uh, resource once it is built, but we need to get our requests in now. So if you're interested in that, please make sure that you speak to Mr McLennan or I by the end of the day tomorrow. That's Tuesday the 27th of April. Finally, next week's Monday message will not be on Monday. It will be on Tuesday as Monday is the May Day holiday. So have a great week, everyone. And I look forward to seeing you all again later today. Thank you.